Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, as we go around through here, obviously I've done a fair amount, though you can't see it yet. Um, yes, all of our lockers here are empty because we have left the base for this big sexy beast right here. That's right, we have a Cyclops, and I did call it the TARDIS, yes, yes, yes. I don't remember if we have anything left in in the escape pod or not. Uh, let's find out. Uh, anything in here? No? No storage cubes or anything like that? Nope. Um, ooh, hey, but there are power cells. Can we take the power cells? Self-charging power cell? Uh, can I, can I, can I take you? No, I cannot take you. Dang it. I was hoping I could take it and put it in, uh, in our six, in our sex at base tail, but no. So yes, we have a Cyclops. Now the reason I took everything out of there is because when we go up to the bridge, of course we have our normal bridge, you know, nothing really in the bridge except for a sign telling you locker room. So you go out into the locker room and you have metals, minerals. Uh, minerals are like the, 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 the salt and stuff, salt, crash, crash powder, the organics, which include air sacs, floaters, stalker teeth, uh, peepers, etc., etc. Uh, then you have plant material, which is creeper vines, coral chunks, kind of. Mechanics, which are, you know, like our terraformer fragments, which we're going to start researching. Then you have equipment, which is your welder, your knife, your sea glide, stuff like that. And I suppose we can actually go ahead and put our builder in here because I think we're pretty much done with it. Now, as you come into the main lab, you have two benches surrounding the, uh, the sea glide. You also have an aquarium, as well as workbench, fabricator, fragment analyzer. So let's dump these into our fragment analyzer. And it's analyzing the terraformer at three, times three. So yes, we have, you know, and then you have your engine room and stuff like that. Now I don't really have anything downstairs at the moment. I'm not quite sure what to put downstairs because Downstairs is kind of useless, but we can come in here, we can say close the door, and we can say, all right, let's pilot this baby around, and let's go visit the Aurora. Oh, look, Peeper, Peeper. Peeper's galore, wow. Oop, I think I just hit the Peeper. I'm trying to remember, yes, I do have the radiation suit, good. Whoa! What am I? Technology created. Yay! We have a terraformer. What is hitting? What are you hitting? What is hitting you? We have a peeper. Was that it? Sounds like somebody's knocking on this. Sounds like somebody's knocking on it, really. Um, so yes, we, we need to find, uh, we need to find life. We need to find, yes, peepers, I suppose peepers will be all right. But you see, where'd he go? Wow, these guys move really fast. Well, there's a couple peepers down there. But you see, we can take, if we can catch enough peepers, or what are you? Oh, you're what was knocking against the ship. I must have, like, hit him and, like, he got clipped into the ship or something. So, yes. Come here, Peeper. Yes. No, I'm not going to kill you. I don't have my knife out or anything. I'm, I'm not going to kill you. I just want... I want to put you in my aquarium so that I can... So that I'm carrying a live food source. Okay? Yes, I will eventually wind up probably killing you and eating you and all that good stuff. Come here, air sac. Yes, yeah, so yes, um... Oh. 
Whoa! Hi! Please don't poop on me. Please do not poop on me. Because your poop is poisonous. Wow, there's just peepers galore here. Come here! Come, come here! Come here! Come here! Wow, my, I'm a really bad fisherman here. Granted, most fishermen don't dive in with the fish and just, like, pluck them up with their hands. Alright. Well, we are almost out of air, so let's pop up top here. But yeah, see, I want to I want to collect fish and 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 wildlife and stuff like that, and say and and actually have some in my aquarium so that I can just pop them out and. Gary fish. All right. We'll take some of the Gary fish too. Fine. I would love to find a Reginald fish and just keep him as as a pet, basically. Because, well, Reginald, you know. Reginald's my pal. What are you? You are not looking. You're not a happy looking thing. You are not happy looking. That is for sure. More Gary fish, okay. Come on. Come on, Gary. There we go. Alright, that should be enough to populate our to populate our our aquarium with food. So we should be good as far as food source as far as food source and everything. What is the condition of it's not like He's not, like, hurting us, is he? No, he's not. Okay, good. Whatever it is that's, like, clipped into the ship and banging at it is not... So, yes. Okay, so we can only put, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where are they? I don't see them. I do not see them. I, I should be seeing them flo floating around in there. Unless you're not actually supposed to put these guys. Uh, let's see here. Why are you guys not showing up when I put you in there? I don't know, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. Cooked fish. Yes, let's cook a peep. Let's cook the peeper. Let's cook the Gary fish. So we actually have some food here. And now we're up to 100% food on the food. Now, I may go ahead and actually build a much better base later. Alright, that sounds horrible. But, for right now, I want to boogie on down to the Aurora and see what she's got going on. So, this is probably going to take a while to actually get there because the Cyclops is big. It's not exactly fast. I mean, I suppose we are moving along in a pretty good clip, though. Oh, wait. Uh, locker room equipment. I want, uh, I want my welder. I want my heat blade. And I do have a first aid kit just in case I need it. So, let's, uh... Let's explore the ship. Okay, so there's all these little nice neat little guys. Disinfected water, thank you. Wow. Oops. More disinfected water. 
Okay. Uh. Gee, many crickets. This thing has definitely seen better days. I think it's seen better millennia. And it's really loud and really scary. Alright. Ooh! Another first aid kit. Alright. Now, if I remember right, these guys are not our friends. Alright, what's in you? Another first aid kit. Well, alrighty then. What are you? Container. Disinfected water. Alright. Hey, now. All of a sudden it got really quiet. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Battery? Batteries are good. We do like batteries. Um. Okay. So, this is like... Yeah. Another battery. All right, we'll take another battery. Okay, and I'm getting like molten metal power cell. Is that a power cell? What? What is that? Why can't? Why? What is it? And why can't I pick it up? Inventory isn't full. No, I was going to say, my inventory shouldn't be anywhere near full. Whatever that was, I couldn't pick it up. Alrighty then. And it is still actively on fire. Yes, it is still actively on fire. I'm not liking this. I mean, at least we're on dry land and we have, we, we have water. We have water thanks to the supply crates that were... <laughs> Ow. Okay, so there's 10 leaks remaining. Good to know. What's that? Pick up power upgrade module. Yes, please. Uh, why do I think it's not going to be as simple as just swimming around? Yeah, that's... Those are creatures that I'm hearing. Those are like the, the blood-sucking creatures that I'm hearing. Eight leaks remaining. Soon to be seven. Seven leaks remaining. There's a leak over there. Six leaks remaining. Now, if I remember right, this is essentially what we're doing is we're sealing up the, the, the radioactive drive. Why are you not... There we go. Okay. I was going to say, why are you not actually welding? Four leaks remaining. Usually the leaks are kind of glow a little bit, basically. They, they, they shine. They're... Okay. Three lake lakes remain. Two left. 
There's one of them. Uh, please don't, please don't kill me. Please don't, like, suddenly, spontaneously, massive explode. There's one leak remaining. Yep, there it is. Alright, so now. Attention. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Yay! Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days. Okay. Time so we have successfully sealed up the, the the radioactive part of the ship so now the the ocean will return to its normal normal radiation levels and that is all the time we have for this episode of subnautica so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more from ola productions cheerio come up here and Yes. All right. Now, transistor was never created. So all electronics still make use of vacuum tubes, which caused the technological advancements to be bigger and bulkier.